All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big day. Uh, I haven't did a video in a while. Uh, this is a, a interesting question. I had a friend, a friend of mine, a Facebook friend. I don't think I ever met him in person, but it's very interesting. Is that uh, they ask a question? Would you rather be self-employed and get five figures a year, or career have a career that pays six figures a year? And, uh, and, and depend on somebody. That, that's an interesting question, you know. There's advantages and disadvantages about both of them. One is, uh, you know, because I, I was self-employed. It's, it's freaking hard. It's not easy to start a business. You're, you're going to be, uh, my, you know, and it's kind of interesting, you know, what you, what I would suggest anybody getting in, in business is really research because I've gotten into, you know, I was a private investigator. didn't do too well, and uh, there's just so much shit that you have to do. You know, that, that's a good question. Me, rather, I'd rather have a six-figure uh, income. Uh, I know it sounds weird. Uh, that's a career than a five-figure income business, and I'll tell you why. One is, when you're in business for yourself, you have to do all the taxes, do all the advertising, and it's always on your mind. Your, your mind is always clicking, hey, how can I get that phone ring? How can I get that person coming to my... I mean, that, that, that's your number... When you first start, that's your number one thing. You're trying to get that phone ring, trying to get that sale, trying to get that, you know, trying to get that person to do business with you, you know, your mind's always clicking 24-7. As if you have a six-figure career. You know, once you clock out, you, you can give a fine fuck less about that place. I know I, I don't make six figures nowhere near it. You know, I don't make a... I mean, I make a... De I wouldn't say... I make an okay living. You know, I, I work... I'm not going to tell you who my employer is. But when I clock out... I can give a flying fuck less about that employer. I'm serious. I can give a flying fuck less about that employer. You know, because I, you know, I, don't, I don't have to worry about paying taxes. You know, except for what my employer, my employer does that for me. Now, if I made six-figure income at, a, at an employer, that'd be nice to make six-figure. I wouldn't have nothing to worry about. You know, plus I went out to, you know, unlike uh, having a biz, uh, ha having a business making five figures. You have to worry about the taxes. You have to worry about, you know, who's, you know, you have to worry about your reputation from eight, from, you know, morning to night. As where I'm working for somebody, I don't give a flying fuck less what somebody says to me about Facebook. Like I said, you know, I, I work a nine to five and once I get off my employer, I don't give a flying fuck less. When, once I clock out, I don't give a flying fuck less about that employer. As if I was in business for myself, I'd be like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about it. Hey, this is my reputation on the line. This is my this is my baby. If I if I screw up, it's my baby. I have to worry about it. Or don't get me wrong, your potential making more money. You know, working for yourself is greater if you know what you're doing. If you know the field, you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's a greater. But, I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages about having your own business and doing and having a good job paying well. When you have your own business, you're flexible hours. If you have to go to the doctor, you don't have to worry about somebody, you know, worrying about calling off, doing all this procedure. You just go to the doctor and come back and do what you got to do. And, uh, or you need to take a day off for some uh, funeral. You don't have to worry about having so many days, but also you're not getting paid for that either. So you don't got the benefits. You got to pay for your own benefits, your own this, your own that, which, uh, which you know, if you got a good benefits, a good employer, you don't have to worry about that. You know, you know, I, I'm hurt right now from, my uh, you know, I, I tripped over an angle iron at work and busted up my arm pretty good. And, and I don't have to worry about, you know, whether I'm getting paid or not, workman's comp covers that. As if I was self-employed, I would have to. I would have to be like, oh man, you know, where, where's my next? Unless I just have a really good, 
you know, you, you have to learn to manage your money a lot better. You have to learn to, you know, and that thing's on your mind 24-7 as where you're, like I said, you have a job, you know, you, once you clock out, you can give a flying fuck less what happens. That's why I am. I can give a flying fuck less what happens with my employer once I'm off. I, I just hope and pray they're not dumbasses that go out of business, make bad decisions. I don't have to make them decisions. Once I work my eight, eight and a half, nine hours a day, I usually work nine, you know, I can give a flying fuck less. Now, if I was, if I had a business, I, that thing's on my mind 24-7. You know, that thing's on my mind, you know, how can I get that phone ring? Is this new guy, you know, it, what is somebody saying about me on Facebook? What is somebody saying about me on Reddit? Who's going to send this about me? Who's going to send that rumor? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? I mean, you had to worry about, I mean, you're Googling your name all the time. You're doing, I mean, you're trying to get everything to go and get that, get that thing to ring. Now, if you were, you know, like I said, it's different between being self-employed and having it, you know, don't get me wrong. I wish I did have a six figure income, you know, uh, you know, I wouldn't have nothing to worry about. My life be better and get paid vacation. Go, actually have a real vacation instead of sitting around here worrying about oh, what am I going to yo. Uh, all right, can I go to week? Can I, I'll I'll go up to Cincinnati for a couple of days. I'll go up to Indianapolis for a couple of days. See what's going on there. Then we're the two biggest cities near me. You know. Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, they're about, both about an hour and a half, you know, two hours away from me, so it's, you know, they're the new, nearest cities, you know, near me, sort of kind of like, you know, northeast is due north, an hour and a half, two hours due north is Indianapolis, hour and a half, uh, two hours uh, northeast is uh, Cincinnati. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 there's more. So, that, I mean, that's the benefits you got. Your potential, if you know what you're doing, as far as you have a passion about a business, you know, I suggest everybody do a little side gig, like as a hobby, you know, start out, you know, if you like, you know, doing crafts or you like doing, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, you know, kind of do it on a side hustle and, you know, see, see if you really like doing it. Then, you know, if it gets well and you get a name, then turn it into business. But other than that, you know, you know, you know I'm not being negative, I'm not discouraging people for going into business, but, I mean, there's a few things you got to think about. You know, and a lot of it's peace of mind in that. All right, this is uh, Big Dave's Opinion. Uh, yeah, please uh, be sure to uh, subscribe and uh I would like to thank uh, all my loyal subscribers and fans out there. Uh, yeah, and what's I expect for the future? I may be uh, doing like tours of, you know, like uh, like a virtual tour guide of the city and that. Uh, you know, see what all you know, Louisville has to offer and that. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, have have a good one, guys.